this is Katie. I got new stuff in the mail and I wanna show you guys. I am 99% positive that it's more crocheting stuff. A lot of you guys know that I used to crochet when I was younger and I just picked it back up again. Um, and I'm gonna open an Etsy store soon with uh, some of my creations, but I wanted to open these packages, see what's inside, I'm so excited. Um, when I mentioned that I started crocheting again, I had a ton of comments of like, a lot of you guys like to crochet as well. So, really, really cool, really, really exciting. Oh, these are like half for crocheting and half not. I just got some of these like little zipper organizer -y pouch things. I might use some for like little travel, like travel makeup -y things or if I have little samples or whatever, um, then I might put some the crochet hooks and stuff in there as well. So I just got a bunch of those. And then this I think is a new bag for all of my yarn and stuff. Cause I didn't have one. I was just like keeping all of my yarns and uh, crochet hooks and stuff in a reusable tote that I got at a grocery store, um, which is fine, but I wanted to get a proper like knitting crocheting bag. I also did get knitting needles, by the way. So, I got this yellow bag from Amazon from a brand called Stitch Happy. And I, cause you guys know, like I like to wear, I mean, I'm not really um, doing it today, but I usually wear a lot of black. I like pretty like bland colors, I guess. Like I like a lot of like black and white, um, or, like kind of like muted colors. And so a lot of my clothes are like that. And then even like my accessories and stuff are usually black if that's an option too. But I feel like for knitting and crocheting, I'm like, I wanna have bright colors uh, for my storage and stuff. And so I got a bright yellow bag that kind of looks like a lunchbox because it has it it's not actually that um that like cooler material but it kind of looks like it because it's silver um okay oh and it came with a little like needle bag so that's cool or, or crochet hook bag that's really cool and i bought all these things myself by the way but i do have an amazon recommended list in my description and i will link this if you're curious um, has a strap, it has little dividers for your yarn, and it has holes at the top. And so, um, like, if you're in the middle of a project, you can keep all your yarn in here. Okay, first of all, I don't know if this is gonna hold all my yarn. I have a lot of yarn, but that's okay because I am in the process of making a ton of stuff to put on my new Etsy page. It's gonna launch in a few weeks. Um, so all the yarn I have right now might not fit, but after I'm done with the projects that I'm going to be doing really, really soon, then it might all fit. But I also got yesterday, see, and this, I thought this was gonna be a little bit bigger, and I thought this was gonna be much smaller. I got this little meshy thing that I'll link as well. I got this as like my project holder. So if I was gonna go to a friend's house, or I was going to go to the park, or I wanted to go outside, and I was gonna say, and sit at the pool, as I'm sure you can hear the people at the pool right now, because the door's open, and I'm in like a community where there's people uh, who can go outside in the pool. But anyway, I thought that this was smaller, that it would hold like one ball of yarn, like in like one little project, um, but it's still it's still like a decent travel size but you could fit like a big project in here um, or even like two small projects or something so I do also have this and this folds up quite small if you're not using it hi monkey hi hi cutie hi this is my friend's cat you guys know that this is not my cat but my friend's cat. This is my nephew, Monkey. Hi, Monks. Hi. You good boy? Hi. All right. So, okay. Back to all my knitting and crocheting stuff. I'm so excited. So, I also got, within the last couple days, um, I got more yarn because... Um, I wanted to get cotton yarn because, spoiler alert, I'm going to be making um, for my Etsy shop some like dish towels and stuff and that's better with cotton yarn because it's like more absorbent. So I ordered a thing of cotton yarn and I need to show you how it came. Um, it's not going to be completely filled because I have already used some of it. I already made some stuff last night, but I'm going to give you like the idea of how it came. Hold on, I'm like putting it back. <laughs> okay, ready? It came in this cute box, like a freaking present. And when you open it, hold up, it's gonna fall if I try to open it like sideways like that. 
and they come all like this. So I've already used two of them. <laughs> But how cute, and I love these colors. So anyway, I got this on Amazon too. I got a lot of this on Amazon. I got some of my yarn at um, Walmart, but I obviously don't really wanna go to stores right now if I don't have to. And so I did find a decent amount of stuff on Amazon. It took me a little while to look and like read reviews and see what was good. Um, but I also got this like thing of crochet hooks, which I showed you in one of my last videos. And then I also got um, some bamboo knitting needles and these, were not hard to find by any means because there are a ton of them, but some of the reviews on some bamboo needles is that they're not really smooth enough and the yarn like catches in the bamboo. And so these um, had the reviews that they were smooth and I haven't used them yet, but I have like touched up here. They're also like wrapped. I only opened one before, but these are smooth. I haven't tried every pair. Oh, like see right here, there is like a tiny little bit of like roughness, it's not like splintering or anything, but um, I'll have to try them out. But this is also only like 10 bucks, and it came with like 15 sizes, which I'm never gonna use these tiny, tiny ones. I'm never gonna use these. This is a toothpick, I'm never gonna use that. But uh, some of the, the bigger ones, kinda like eight and up, I would probably use. But anyway, if that, I have a bunch of things. So, if you guys want uh, I'm kind of going to do this two ways. I'm going to have an Etsy shop with some pre-made stuff, obviously. It's mostly going to be like baby blankets, doll blankets. I might do one or two like human-sized adult blankets, maybe, uh, for my Etsy shop. Uh, maybe some scarves, some dish towels, washcloths, um, things like that. And again, that's going to launch in a few weeks. I'll obviously let you guys know. Some knitted, mostly crocheted, but I'm going to do some knitted stuff as well. Oh, and I'm going to get some uh, double-sided needles to potentially make some hats as well, like some beanies. I know the scarves and the beanies, like if you are in Australia, it's cold now, um, but people in America wouldn't use those now, but you know, you can buy stuff really for Christmas presents. It gets cold in September in some places, you know? But anyway, so I'm gonna do that, but then I'm also going to do um, personalized pieces as well. I'm gonna have that as an option where you can um, just kind of tell me what you want and I would make it specifically for you if you want different colors than you see on the Etsy shop. Um, they're gonna be different prices because if I'm doing something personally for you, it's just gonna be a different price, but it's just gonna be an option as well. If you're like, oh, I really want a scarf that's these colors, I could totally do that. And then that will be more like we kind of chat about it and then uh, you can order that separately. But anyway, I just want to show you guys some of my new stuff and let you guys know that I am gonna have some stuff for sale soon and I'm very, very excited. Um, do you want a little sneak peek of like one thing that might be, do you want a sneak peek? Should I do this? All right, I'm gonna, okay, one sneak peek. One sneak peek. I'm not gonna show you exactly, exactly, and I'm not done obviously because I have to like put these away, but this is a washcloth. And look at the, I'm, but I'm not gonna like, I mean, you know what a washcloth looks like. This is not really like being sneaky, but it's these like uh, like a light blue and a medium kind of blue, like a cerulean. I love these colors. But anyway, I also have a matching dish towel. This is me being secretive. Is it working? <laughs> so I have that. Um, I've been spending a lot of my like late afternoon, early evenings over the last like two weeks. Um, not all of them, but a lot of them like crocheting for a couple hours and watching Friends. It's been really nice because especially I'm one of those people, I, I talked about this in one of my last videos, but like when I would watch TV, especially TV shows that I've already seen before, I would scroll through Instagram. And I don't like that that's what I used to spend so much of my time doing. So I just wanted something else to keep my hands busy. And this has been a little, a fun and productive and positive uh, change that I've made. So I'm really happy about that. So um, I'm going to be doing some of that. Very, very excited. It is about 90 degrees today. <laughs> I'm like super hot, super, super hot. I need like the coldest glass of water that has ever existed that's not ice. I need it to be water, but it needs to be cold. <gasps> I think I have, oh, I think I have popsicles. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I found a popsicle. These are the Outshine popsicles, so it's basically like fruit juice. Like they're like healthy popsicles. Um, this is a lemon one. They don't have jokes on the popsicle sticks, which, you know, it's okay. <laughs> I'll forgive them this time. Oh, 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 oh. It's like, it's three o'clock right now. For lunch, I went to Brick's Pizza uh, with one of my friends and they have gluten-free pizza. And I went there once, like a little over a year ago and I did not like their pizza very much. But I was like, I wanna give it another try. I only had it once. It didn't make me sick. So I'm like, I'll try it again. Maybe order something different, give them a second chance, you know? And so I ordered a pizza and they let you do half and half, which I was very excited about. So I got, and they're still like personalized pizza, but they still let you do it half and half. So I got one half, it was like a shrimp 
sriracha, roasted red peppers, basil, mozzarella, and goat cheese, but I got it with no goat cheese. And I got it with extra mozzarella. And then the other half, I got a Hawaiian pizza because someone has never had pineapple on pizza before. I've never had pineapple on pizza before. And everyone always asks me whenever I do like little Q and A's, what do you think about pineapple on pizza? And I have to say, I don't know, I've never had it. Um, but my idea was that I thought that I would like it because I like the idea of pineapple mixed with savory. I love pineapple on cheeseburgers. And so I was like, maybe I'll like it on pizza. And so I'll input that footage right now and then I will let you know my thoughts. Okay, so first of all, it's been like an hour and a half <laughs> because my roommate got home, so we were chatting um, and I was crocheting something else. Um, but, so, you guys just saw the footage of me eating that pineapple pizza. It was a Hawaiian pizza, so it had pineapple and prosciutto. Oh my gosh, prosciutto? I've never had on like a, like a baked item. I've never had it in a meal before. I've only ever had it on antipast. Um, so just like as like a cold cut kind of thing. I've never had it on a pizza or even like in a sandwich. That was delicious. The pineapple, it was pineapple prosciutto and then just like mozzarella. I don't think anything else was really on it, but Hawaiian pizza, pineapple on pizza. Huge, huge argument in America. A lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it and think it's like the most ridiculous thing in the world and people who love it, they're like, what are you guys talking about? Big controversy on pineapple on pizza. My opinion, it's fine. <laughs> I am not on either end of the spectrum whatsoever. I thought it was good. Um, I already ate some of my leftovers for like a really early dinner, like a late lunch. It was like four o'clock. What does that count as? Like a really late lunch? Um, I already had some leftover. Um, so will I eat it? Yeah. Will I order it again? Maybe. But honestly, because I really like the prosciutto on the pizza. But it, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. Um, it was good. It was fine. I don't really have a stronger opinion than that. Like it was good, it was fine, it was edible. I will continue to eat it, but I'm not sure I would continue to chase after finding more pineapple on pizza. You know what I mean? Um, and then the other half of the pizza was like that shrimp sriracha side. That was really good. Um, and I got the extra mozzarella, so we can talk about that cheese pull. Cause I had to cut out the audio, I think at least I had to cut out uh, most if not all of the audio because there was music outside where we were sitting and I can't use that music legally but I ordered extra mozzarella <laughs> and so that cheese pull that I was able to do with that pizza 
is my proudest accomplishment. It really just is. I decided I already watched some of that footage back like I'm prob I probably kept all of that footage and I think it was like a good minute of me trying to figure out because I didn't want to use my hands I just wanted to like figure it out like it was like a challenge on like double dare of like eat this pizza without your hands But uh, so that cheese pull was just very very funny and my friend and I, I was with one of my friends um, And he and I were just like laughing hysterically at that cheese pull My proudest accomplishment my the best thing I've ever done the best thing I've ever done. But anyway, uh, so that was my lunch, that pizza. Um, and then I've been crocheting some more stuff. It was too much of a sneak peek. I've had a couple people ask me to do like crocheting and knitting and crafting videos. So let me know if that's actually something that you want to see. Um, if you want it to be kind of like a tutorial um, or if you want it to just be like me hanging out and like doing something. I don't want to show you yet. But you know, like if it's just like me hanging out um, and crocheting, I can do that too. But let me know if you guys want to see that because I have had a couple of requests. I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed this very random mishmash 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 this combination of footage <laughs> hope that you enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching please make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already and follow me on instagram if you want as well it's just katie carney over there um and yeah i guess it's gonna be it thanks again for watching and i hope that you guys have a wonderful day i love you jesus loves you and i'll talk to you later bye uh also p.s um, my friend and I, before we got lunch, we were sitting at Starbucks and someone walked by and said that my hair looked like Mickey Mouse ears. So, you're welcome. Bye guys.